More than a decade ago, Northeast Georgia Health System began planning for a new hospital in South Hall County. The facility was to be the first new hospital in the state in over 20 years, and the organization understood the unique opportunity and responsibility that was before them. Early in the process, the organization's leadership team defined a set of guiding principles that would help them stay on course as they maneuvered through the coming years of visioning, planning, allocating resources, and ultimately building the new facility. Believing that the people of this region deserve nothing less than the very best care possible, the organization set expectations high as they work to create the vision of what will become Northeast Georgia Medical Center Brasselton. It is with a sense of stewardship that the project began. Our vision for Braswellton is to build a lean and efficient, innovative, high quality hospital for our patients. And what we've really done is we've gone out to understand our patients, to understand what they need. We've interviewed local patients in Braswellton, so we have spent a lot of time understanding what our patients need in a lot of detail and getting their input. One of the things that we do here as an organization and as a leadership team is we're always trying to look at how do we make ourselves better tomorrow? We're never satisfied. Let's look at what other organizations that have had this opportunity, how did they approach it? And one of the things that's really driving our organization now is our quest for excellence. And being able to build a new hospital from scratch, if you will, using uh, lane design principles is just an incredible, incredibly unique opportunity. We're doing it in a way that we're told by the experts and the professionals that very few health systems are really taken under. The hospital, when it opens, will um, be 100 beds. We have a CON uh, from the state of Georgia for 100 beds, and um, the services that we'll provide will be um, general acute um, hospital services. We will focus on some of the key programs that NGHS has become known for. Um, so we will try to um, deliver programs like cardiology, oncology, orthopedics, neuroscience, some of the core strengths that we have here in Gainesville. Um, we envision um, having uh, those services available there as well. This will be a very appealing hospital for physicians uh, in that it's being designed uh, around the workflow. So understanding how the work it will be done before actually designing the hospital uh, will allow us to develop uh, efficient processes and a workplace that will support those. The great thing about having a hospital in this area is it'll attract more physicians and so we'll be able to expand and add greater services and that way uh, patients won't have to travel as far. The community is impacted in a lot of different ways. Obviously the city and county revenues are positively impacted. Payroll is something that circulates throughout the community many times so a hundred million dollars in payroll from economic benefits will show up in the community over and over again. So there are many businesses and individuals outside of the hospital that will be impacted for both residents uh, that uh, want access to better health care, but also indigent care. Uh, indigent care and having that access in South Hall County and in, uh, will be a big benefit. When we uh, went through the process to select our architectural firm and the members of the design team, there was a very, very detailed um, RFP process where we outlined what we were looking for, uh, went into great detail to let them know that this was not just building a hospital, that this was something that was very unique and very special to us. This is the first new hospital in the state of Georgia in over 20 years. We found HGA to be most um, in line with the goals that we wanted to accomplish for the project. Um, not only how the facility looks or you know feels, but how it's going to operate and their emphasis on lean operations and design um, that really meets the needs of the patients and the staff and the physicians that are going to be working there was a key decision factor for us. I think HGA would tell you that while they've challenged us, we've challenged them and I think as a result we both have learned a lot and are going to be able to create um, a very unique experience in that market that I dare say others throughout the country will want to come and learn from us. Now, the interactive design process that we used uh, with NGH's leadership team was a highly interactive uh, series of meetings and environments that started out with understanding the project vision uh, clearly by all team members 
and then carrying that out really through one of the primary focuses of uh, focusing on the patient. So that was one of their clear missions from the start, that everything we do should focus on patient needs and patient comfort. And as we went through the process, that really uh, evolved into a whole series of interactive workshops led by NGH's leadership, facilitated by HGA architects um, and planners around understanding and talking with clients about what delighted them, what disappointed them in their previous experiences and interfaces with the healthcare uh, community, and then by crafting an ideal patient experience out of those stories. The retreat-like character and quality of this, the, the Brazelton, the immediate surroundings is going to be a, that, that's just a great opportunity to, for a setting for a hospital, a place where you know, it's going to be retreat-like, it's going to be a place of escape, take your mind off of uh, you know, all the things that ail you. And that's probably one of the largest draws that and differentiators that this, this facility, this site, uh, site has. It became very clear very early that Northeast Georgia had very high goals and very high expectations for this project. And as we've completed each step along the way, I've been able to look back and say, how are we doing against achieving those goals? And Thus far, through each step, we've been able to, to look back at that and say, yes, we've done some really, we've done really innovative things that are going to help Northeast Georgia achieve great outcomes with their new hospital. Well, when we were first introduced to the site, we noticed it was a green field, which in essence means that it was a fairly pristine, natural environment with limited development on it. So first and foremost, we, we took some inventory on site of the species that were there. Uh, we asked them to create a survey of the site to, to, to record all the trees and vegetation that's on the site so we can know exactly where these uh, trees and plant material are so that when the development came in we could see if there was any sensitive areas that we wanted to stay away from. There are some sensitive areas on site. There's, uh, there's a, a low area that has a wetland in it. The Mulberry Creek is a, is a beautiful stream and there's uh, streams on other parts of the property that are very sensitive and have some mature forest particularly around that. We're still going to stick with the native plant palette. And the main reason for sticking with the native plant palette is what we plant in our landscapes will eventually seed back into the natural environment. And we don't want to degradate that natural environment that's completely around this project. And so by using a, a predominance of native plants, we're actually creating a seed source and a food source for the surrounding wildlife, songbirds and, and the like. As we've gone back to the community, since the master plan has been developed and since we started to develop architectural solutions, having community members that were at the first few meetings and might have been more skeptical on the front end come up to me afterwards and say, it's clear that you've cared for this site and the design of this building as much as the care that will be provided for the patients that are inside the building. To me, that's the ultimate reward because that's our goal is to show that we care for every part of what we design, not just what happens inside the facility for patient care, but also what happens on the site and the building, that we're trying to be good stewards of the land and of the community. To have that reassurance from them that we're headed the right direction has really been tremendously rewarding for all of us in the design team. Sometimes when you build a new building, you think you're just building brick and mortar, but you don't know the effects that you're having on the culture, and that's very, very powerful. I can't tell you how many, and because my name was listed on the, the CON application, how many phone calls that I had from residents that lived down there that just really, you know, they were just a support of the hospital, they were eager for it to be there, and we had a thousand letters of, actually, you know, letters written, a thousand letters of support to, to, uh, to back that up, and that was really a uh, can't be underestimated how, how important that piece of it was when the Department of Community Health was deciding to, to approve the CON. Northeast Georgia Health Systems has a very clear vision, and that's of improving the quality of the health care in the communities that they serve. And so not only will it be this fantastic building, it's going to be built around the needs and wants of the community, and it's going to be a peaceful, serene setting, and that's one of the request of the people in the community was to leave the integrity of, the, of this 119 acre park-like atmosphere. The rewards are going to be really, really great and the people of the surrounding counties, it'll be their reward for years and years to come.